So I redesigned the 5.8 gigahertz uh, helical antenna. Um, this one was designed for 0.25 wavelength and the website that I used to calculate the dimensions of the antennas the default was 0.23 of a wavelength and the difference between 0.25 and 0.23 wavelength is the dimensions between the wire so from here to here on 0.25 is 12.9 millimeter and from here to here on 0.23 is 11.9 and the SWR on this antenna was 2.3 uh, to 1, which is horrible SWR. I've got my Mobius docking station, and with this antenna, this would overheat. Even with this 30 dB attenuator on her, the, the VTX would overheat and shut off. I've got my FPV little display and a, a receiver set up. I'll plug this in and turn it on. Set this up to check forward power. Turn this on. There we go. And put the helical antenna on the reverse side. And then I've got another LiPo to hook up to the Mobius pack. And you see that it's on. See my hand moving. Um, this is set up to 5.8 gigahertz with 30 dB attenuation. And press the up arrow until you see the VDSWR. Hit select to start. Sometimes the buttons don't work. And it says press select for forward measurements. Press select and it's running. And then it says press select for reverse, but power off the VTX, unscrew everything, and put the antenna on the forward side, put the transmitter on the reverse side, then power up my Mobius docking station, wait for it to come online. Okay, you see that it's working here. Press select and it says it's running. And it has 1.3 to 1 SWR. That's almost perfect. And this isn't overheating and, and tripping offline like it was with this one. Plug the power into the VTX and within five seconds it would the, the, this screen would go blank or go staticky because the the transmitter would trip offline because it overheat. I'm going to see if I can get the SWR even better by using a Hecker wave trap. It's just a little piece of metal that you solder on to the first quarter wavelength and it's supposed to match the impedance. This is almost perfect as it is, but I just want to see if I can get it down below 1.3. <clears throat> so I've been doing some testing with uh, wave traps and this little tiny, it's uh, 6.4 millimeters by 3.2 millimeters and I soldered that onto there like this as per uh, IB Crazy's uh, tutorial on uh, RC groups and the SWR shot up to 2.6 when I tested it. So I unsoldered it, and what's funny is this tiny little bit of solder improved the SWR. So you don't, on, on 5.8 gigahertz, you don't need this. You don't, you don't really need a wave trap if your antenna is designed properly because this just threw the SWR off like crazy. So now it's at 1.2 that I just got done uh, measuring. And that's, that's almost perfect. I mean, I can't do any better than that. And the TX is completely cool.